Hello. Today our scripture is Luke chapter 17 and chapter 18. And in this uh, particular scripture, uh, it talks about there will be occasions where someone will offend you and there will be occasions where you will offend someone else. So whichever one happens, the key is God wants us to be on one accord. How many times should you forgive someone? The simple answer is as many times as they come back and request it. But most of us don't have the patience or the insight to want to forgive someone multiple times. So then we have to ask the Lord to help us to forgive because he has forgiven us. So a faithful servant should not act as a measure of duty or responsibility or requirement. They should be faithful in whatever they do because they love God and they're acting as a servant of God. Thankfulness. In the example of that is given in uh, verses 11 through 19 of the 10 lepers. Christ told them to go and show themselves to the priest. And on their way, they were healed before they even arrived at the priest. But one felt so grateful that he came back and fell on his knees and praised God and served Jesus Christ. And Jesus told him uh, that his faith had made him well. His faith had made him well. He was healed of his leprosy, but his faith had made him well. What difference is that? Is that his faith saved him. It's one thing to be healed, and it's another thing to be saved. Preparedness. And I think we all know what it's like to be prepared. So this is a case where we're talking about the Pharisees asking Jesus, when will the kingdom of God come. In Lot's day, there was unnatural lust that was so offensive to God that he destroyed the entire town. We want to make sure that we are the sheep and not the goats, and we want to be saved when Jesus comes because we know not the day or the hour. Now we look at chapter 18. We want to look at the contrast between God, our Father, and the unrighteous judge. God does not do things for us to get rid of us. God does not do things for us because he's annoyed. So when we plead to him and ask for him for help and his deliverance, he is like the Father, always standing by, ready to help. And this is a situation in chapter 18, verses 9 through 17, where the Pharisee prayed, and he just bragged on himself. So really, he was not praying to God. He was telling God how good he was. And similar, there are some people in the church, because they've been members of the church, or because they serve in ministry, they think that they're a little better than the average person. Even if your sins are different, you still fall in the same category. So this deluded Pharisee, and he wanted recognition not only from himself, but also he wanted recognition of the crowd. So glorify God in all that we do and consider ourselves to be grateful for all that God has done. The next area is a dishonest youth. And this is the story of the rich young ruler. He was the only person in the gospel who came to Christ and left worse off than he came because God offered him eternal life with riches untold. He compared his earthly riches to heavenly riches. Everything we have came from God. So we're not giving up anything because it all belongs to God. Now, the last thing is the determined beggar. Christ was traveling along the road, the Jericho Road, and Bartimaeus heard that there was a prophet coming down the road, and he asked who it was, and they told him it was Jesus of Nazareth. And he cried out to him, Jesus, 
son of David, heal me. And they tried to quiet him and told to tell him, you know, don't continue to disturb the master and don't continue to cause scene to bring attention to himself. But he realized that since Jesus was the son of David, Jesus was the Messiah. And if there was any hope of him ever seeing again, that he would call upon him. So Jesus approached him and said, what would you have me do for you? And he said, I would like to regain my sight, which indicates that at one time he must have been able to see. He knew what it was like to see and not, not be able to see. So Jesus told him, your faith has made you well. And again, not only did he, was he healed of his blindness, he was saved because of his faith. Have a blessed day.